what do I want to bring to this new cycle, right? And um, some folks come to, like, what do those terms do? Right? You know, you know Rose, Metal, Valerian, whatever, whatever. Um, I think that's something uh, that we don't do enough of. Absolutely. You know, we're like, oh, okay. I'm going to learn from CPE because I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to learn from mm -hmm. It's like, no, you, you can just go and learn from it together. That would be good. Yeah. Um, and I think it's so important for us to understand how we can learn together. Yeah, and I feel like in that same regard, like, I wanted it to be a tea bar because tea kind of helped me with my sobriety. Because I used to drink a lot, especially if I went to school. So, like, <laughs> yeah, I called it the gas station. So, um, I think when I started drinking tea again, I was like, okay, I can still feel those same effects, but actually do it in a healthy manner. So I want to have like a tea bar. So you still have that social aspect of being at a bar, but you don't have to. Have, so <coughs> have you guys tried Kava? Oh, <laughs> yes, I recently have. It's like a. Uh, you that numbness? Yeah, that yeah. numbness is like a little high, like it's not even like alcohol. It, it definitely nice? has that sort of element of, you know, transcending your. Not transcending. <laughs> and they have like kava bars, like in some places. I haven't really found so many in Chicago, but I don't know my name. They're on the kava. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a cool project. Um, speaking of upcoming projects and collaborations, is there any? I know we're all working on something. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, yeah, let's share. Okay. Um, for me, I'm going to be on a panel called uh, Conscious Appreciation. <gasps> so, you going to be on that? Yes. Okay, I'm about to take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, and so, yeah, um, the, I want to say we're going to be focusing on um, who we are as artists, right, like how we identify. Um, and so for me, I'm really excited because I've come to a lot of realizations of like, this is who I am, right? Um, and more so not even this is who I am, but like allowing for that to ever, like to always be changing. Because um, I think that's the point of artistry for me, is like allowing for myself um, and my ancestors and all the people that, are, that come with me as I create, um, to have a voice. Because I realize, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm Isaiah, I'm this like exterior, but I'm so many other things. You know, like, I feel like mm -hmm. we're converging points, right? Um, of like our families, of all the people we've met, of all the people we love. Um, and so that's a long and short. Um, but then I'm also going to be in a exhibition at Fulton uh, House pretty soon. They're going to have a, uh, it's like a great exhibition coming up. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, working on a few other uh, solo shows um, for some more, hopefully a long gallery, hopefully there, there will be people that uh, hold the show. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Is your work uh, displayed anywhere? Like you can see it? Currently, it's in kind of. It's in like the house of collectors, of like art collectors, but that's not like an open place, you know. Um, I'm trying to trying to find more places. Um, I've had my work up in like one one space, but they. Yeah. Um, any projects I have? Um, I'm doing, I'm working with like a few of my homies who uh, make music and stuff, and they trying to get like more content out, and like, if, how can I say this? They're trying to um, like show off, like, you know, of course, like, yeah, I do music or whatever the case may be, but like, they're trying to like, really get more into the like them as a person and putting out the content so i'm working with like a few of my friends and we're going to do like a few days in my life just so you feel me like you know it's cool for people to like know you do music but like it's bigger than that too because they want to know you know like is he a cool person outside of the music like can i you know relate to him you know outside of the music or whatever and then of course like i'm doing my own little things own projects um more more throughs on youtube more Vlogs, yeah. Nice. You have a, you said you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Hey. Can I ask you a quick question? Mm -hmm. uh, I do everything really like fashion related, um, blogs, challenges, um, everything you can think of, gaming, everything. I'd be, I don't really think about it. Personally, right now, at the forefront of my brain is um, on 420, I'm doing a show at the Promontory with my brother and two other artists. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, everything else in the works, but that's what's at, like, at the top of my head because that's really exciting. Cool. Yeah. Do you have a question, my brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it feel like working with um, your brother? It's the best feeling in the world because we've been like, that's my dog, like that's we your besties. So we've been making music together literally since 
I was born, basically. And mm -hmm. so, um, and he's a very, very talented musician. He plays piano, microphone, all the percussion instruments. Um, and so, I think that in my creative history, I've gone through periods where I wasn't necessarily like actively performing because I would be kind of scared. It's like, well, I just look over and you just make a face. Like, you know, it's real, it's real cool. And then it's also like, I really trust him in the process, and I know he knows what he's doing. Um, so I'm very, very grateful for that, for sure. I got a question. How did you get into making music? Um, I think when I literally been singing since I was like four. So um, and then it's just music has just always been like, and from that point it was like, okay, you're in choir, you're in dance class, you're in all these artistic things. And then as I've gotten older, of course, it's been used for different purposes, like. Right now, love, heartbreak, but now I've kind of been focusing more on like manifesting through my music um, and through my various forms of art. And it's just definitely writing when I feel called to write and not trying to force it because I've made some not great songs trying to force it. Sure. But um, yeah, really just release and connection with self and others. Mm -hmm. that's I think that's a big part of music and why we all connect to, mm -hmm. to it. Universal language. Of, I mean, there's so many different genres, and something that I'm trying to do is find my niche and find some some connection that I have with music and kind of share it. So I totally understand that. You know, keeping that passion ever since you were a kid, like you knew that's something that you're gonna keep with you. So definitely really for that. What's your favorite genre of music too? <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm all about that new music. So new music, like, so there's, I just recently went to a music concert last night, and, you know, composers actually write the music for the musicians to play, which is, it's, it's very, there, it's detailed, it's, composers need to articulate what the musician wants to play, and, you know, you're reading it, I'm reading it, I'm reading the music, I feel like I read more music than I read books, and there's just so, so many details that's in the music that can only be played by the musician. Like, the composer can be in, you know, in the back of the musician's head, but it's, it's all up to, you know, the musician to interpret whatever, you know, the musician is reading. And as a composer, I feel that it is something that I'm working on is actually writing whatever is in my head on the paper. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm in this new music ensemble, so it's like 25 of us. There's percussionists, like four of them. Oh, it's new music ensemble. It's at Columbia College Chicago. Um, we, we, we actually, I have a rehearsal later today. And we, all of the musicians are composers. And we all write um, new music. Um, some composer is writing like a Lord of the Rings uh, soundtrack, and there there's another one that's doing like Super Mario Bros. And then there's you know all of us are really like artistically like when we play together it's like you know we're in a we're in a movie, and a lot of these composers are in game music, they write for the film, like you know it's a whole world of music. Um, but you asked me, like, what's my favorite genre to play? And I think new music is my favorite because it's new. No one's ever heard it before. And when you hear it, you're like, am I in a movie right now? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm doing a piece, but I'm also trying to post out this single, hopefully on 520. Um, and I'm doing, um, like, collaborating with artists for like shows. So I'm working at an Australian show in Chinatown. And I'm DJing um, this Friday at, we have like Columbia Prom. Oh, wow. So yeah. that's going to be exciting. I'm DJing with 3BL, 6BL, and Monet. Uh, DJ Monet. And we're doing just like some, I mean, I'm going to be doing some like jazz house, because I love like, jazzy house. Like that's my favorite genre of it. Um, just because it's, it's new music, but it's also like, you know, it's, I love getting people to move and dance, so, yeah. Okay, now we just got the more five. What is one thing uh, that you, um, like, by creating, what's one thing that you 
what's a new RPG set? Like, okay, I didn't know I could do that. Right, because we, I can start, so we know something. Um, for me, I recently have gotten over my, like, wanting to be perfect. So that was one of the things uh, that, like, I was, okay, it needs to be the best in the mirror, or all this. Um, it's like, no, it can be whatever. It can be shitty, but you're getting better. No. Um, and I think that's the, that's the goal in the name of the game for me uh, a lot of the times. And even from my background, like, me being in STEM, like, getting into photography, getting into writing, I'm like, no, this needs to be the best exposure and all this stuff on set to be right. You know, or if people ain't even writing it, everything's going on. I think the number one thing for me is consistency. Like, if you say you're doing something and you're, like, I used to do this thing where I would practice and I'd practice one day, practice then and practice the next day, and I'd be like, why did I practice yesterday? Um, I should be doing this every day. Like, I say, like, I'm, I am this. You know, I am a violinist, I am a DJ, I'm going to be doing this consistently so that I can be better and learn more about myself during the process. Because a lot of people say that, you know, they make music and, you know, they're collaborating and it's like, well, what's your what's your next project? What are you what are you doing now to get you where you want to be? So I think consistency is something big for artists and, you know, sometimes we get lazy or we, you know, life happens and, you know, we have what, bills to pay and like, things to worry about, or like, or like, you know, places to see, like traveling, like something that I love is traveling, and I, I love seeing the world, and you know, I'm not going to wait on anybody to see it, I'm, I'm going to go see it, but it's also like, I want to be doing all these projects, and I want to be, you know, in these, in these rooms, and I want to get to them, so, consistency is something that I learned a lot. Yeah, I feel like definitely, uh, I realized too with that is like while trying to do everything, um, you also can just change the barrier of like what it is to have to be done, yeah. right? Like if I want to write a poem every day, okay, I wrote three lines. That's a poem, today. right? Like yes. I feel like it's giving yourself, giving 100 percent of whatever you have, mm -hmm. right? Because like you don't, we don't always have it. Because I get that. <laughs> like today, I'm like, oh man, I gotta go do this and that and take these photos. I'm like, okay, nah. But I wrote like four sentences. I'm like, that's creative. You know, so I think um, giving yourself the room to say this is whatever it is, yeah. and it's mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's an artistry, some words, you know. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys so much for you know having yeah. the time to talk to me and each other. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, so that's the class. Let's clap it up for that.